Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, Disney Neo Doctor Who is not doing so well. Every seems like every single week we hear about more ratings disasters after more ratings disasters. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have a lot of that going on as well. There's the latest finale was it has record ratings that are absolutely abysmal, and it's going to be really funny. And that's something else we're going to talk about later. But Boys and girls, the real question is why, right? Why is this happening? What has changed so much? Because there was a lot of us, myself included, that was very hopeful when we heard that Russell T. Davies was coming back. We do a show on Sunday nights at 7 p.m. where we talk, where we go back and watch good new who, right? We go back and watch like we started at Eccleston and we're working our way forward, right? We're currently in fourth season of David Tennant. It's a really good time, right? And we watched an episode last night that was written by Russell T. Davies, allegedly, called Midnight, one of the highest rated episodes of Doctor Who of all time. And it's an incredible episode. It's absolutely great. We had such a good time going over it and reviewing it and talking about it. So that was why we had a lot of hope. But the question is, why with a man like Russell T Davies running the show again, like what he had in the past and how incredible and how good it was, why have things gotten so bad now when he's back at the things? Is it Disney's fault? Is it everything Disney touches turns to dust? Is that just what they're doing to it? Or is it something else? Well, Ladies and gentlemen, I think it might be something else because Russell T. Davies was in a recent interview lately where he said literally it's exactly what we've been saying from the entire time. The guy is writing exactly what he knows, and apparently the only thing he seems to know about is where his genitals go in, 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 in combination with someone else because, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, it's all gay, 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 gay. For Disney Doctor Who and Russell T. Davies is flat out admitting that because as you can see from this headline from over at that park place, Doctor Who showrunner Russell T. Davies admits the topics he writes about are being a gay man or being a queer person. So ladies and gentlemen, color us shocked there. This is nothing new under the sun. This is exactly what we've expected about. It. I mean, look what they did to David Tennant's doctor in the anniversary special. It was nothing but a, it was literally nothing more than a man hating episode the entire time. It was like, well, you know, you'd know this if you were a woman, if you were still a woman you'd be able to do this and, da, 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 da. and it was pronoun nonsense and all kinds of other garbage and it was just absolute trash and guess what boys and girls it was a full-blown foreshadowing of exactly what the rest of disney doctor who was going to be like and now we have another answer and another reminder of exactly why that is so far so we're going to take this article from that park place we're getting into all the juicy details of exactly what russell d davies says because he also has some comments on american politics and maybe that's why he apparently is going so hard in disney doctor who but before we do if you haven't already make sure you you smash that a like button subscribe and or follow if you have not already and whether you're watching this on the live stream and leaving comments down there in the chat or if you're watching this over there later make sure you leave me a comment down below let me know what you guys think about all of this and if you're watching on the live stream i'm gonna go over all your comments at the end of this recording so ladies and gentlemen children of all ages from that park place by our dear sweet john f trent Doctor Who showrunner Russell T. Davies recently admitted that the topics he writes about for television are being a gay man or being a queer person. And you know what's so funny about that, too, is you don't have to write it where it's all about that. Like we watched Midnight last night, right? We reviewed it. It's a great episode. One of the main characters who ends up like you know, spoiler alert, um, if it ends up being turns out to end up being like getting possessed by like a monster. Right. And she's gay. Like she flat out admits, she's like, you know, you know, she, you know, my, 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 you know, my girlfriend or my wife and I split up or whatever. And she's like, she wanted to, she's in a whole nother galaxy and I'm over here and yada, yada, yada. And guess what? Nobody cared. Nobody gave two craps about it. Okay. She's there. She's a person. We all accepted it and we moved on. Right. But the problem is, is nowadays that's what it's all about. It's all about that. And it's so over and it's so over the top and fans are rejecting it. Worst ratings in history for Dr. Who across the board from all the way to all, all the way to classic who all the way into neo who it's worst ratings of all time and that's absolutely abysmal so why is that as reported by the radio times davies appeared at a bafta event called a life in pictures russell t davies where he stated it's not so much that there's a there's a, that there's unexplored topics but the topics i do write about keep changing like being a gay man or being a queer person in society is changing now so literally he's saying that that's all he's ever written he continued 10 years ago or even when we did queer as folk 25 years ago we were up we were on the up it was like good times are here now they're absolutely not what what? Literally, you have an entire month where for years, every corporation on the planet in Western civilization bent the knee and threw up 
your ridiculous nonsense. I said that they were all in lockstep with you. Yada, 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 yada. What do you mean they're absolutely not? What's the old saying? You really know who's in power by those you can't criticize. Back before Elon bought Twitter and it became X, you used to be able to crush us in the algorithm. You used to be able to get us banned for criticizing your stuff because you'd claim it was hate speech. And those because those weirdos over on Twitter agreed with you, they'd gladly remove us. Well, those days are gone now. So we actually have free speech to talk about all of this kind of things. And the fact that any kind of criticism comes out about this kind of nonsense being driven into absolutely everything, including children's shows, shows you why everybody has such an issue with this. And the fact that people are rejecting and pushing back. Nobody gave a crap what went on in your bedroom. No one gave a crap what's gone on in your bedroom for decades, if not a generation at this point or longer. Okay. What it's been about is when you would inject it and literally and figuratively shove it in children's faces. That's where we have a problem. So here we go. Why does Russell T. Davies think that he's being so, per- that, his, that his community is being so per- persecuted right now? Well, now they're absolutely not. That wave coming from America, where they're trying to have legislation banning drag queens, that's absolutely going to come here. No, 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 no. Once again, this shows you how stupid and ignorant that people like Russell T. Davies are that live in these bubbles, right? We call them Hollywood bubbles, but you could call it whatever kind of bubble, the woke bubble, the cult bubble, whatever you want to call it. But they live in a bubble. They live in an echo chamber, right? Because if this guy did any kind of research, read anywhere, anything past the headline or whatever other people are telling him, he would understand what's actually going on. The legislation is banning adult drag shows with graphic explicit content and not allowing people under the age of 18 to go to them. They're simply trying to protect protect, protect children from the degeneracy that so many people are trying to push on them. That's what's going on. So if that makes you feel persecuted, Russell T. Davies, then by all means, cry me a river, build me a bridge, and we'll burn it together. Because this is insane. But once again, he's talking out of ignorance. It's like the old saying from Ronald Reagan. It's not that so much of our, it's not that our Democratic friends are stupid. It's just that they believe so many things that aren't true. They literally live in an echo chamber. And it's so funny because as usual, the side that accuses you of things is actually the one that's doing it. So Davies goes on. We might get a labor government in the next couple of years, but that just means we'll have a very right wing government after that. They're all waiting. They've stated the conversation in this country about banning abortion. It started. (gasps) Oh my God. We're going to have babies being born at a time where England's facing a population crisis. Because people like you and people in your sphere and people that are in your echo chamber have can have either made the world so damn miserable to some people that they don't want to bring children into it, or you've convinced them that it's bad to even have kids. Wonder why maybe your government doesn't want to have children murdered in the womb. I don't know. Weird concept. I know, right? Uh, It started already amongst that right wing. So I think our rights are paper thin. The world is becoming unsafe. So I always keep writing about that. I always keep writing about male gayness if people will have me. Well, we know Disney Doctor Who certainly will have you. Disney loves all that shit. They're all gay, gay, gay all of the time, all over the place, all over the world. They're all about pushing the agenda. We saw the not-so-secret gay agenda nonsense that all rolled out of the Disney leaks and all that kind of stuff a few years back. So color me shocked there. Davies then confirmed that his next Doctor, next show after Doctor Who will be focused on this. Well, his current show, Doctor Who, is completely and totally focused on this. The world has changed. The world changes around you. So whatever I do next after Doctor Who, I hope it's about that. Absolutely. Because we're in a very strange world now. And this is what's so funny about this. Because the pendulum is swinging, right? We are winning. This stuff is getting rejected in every facet of our lives, whether it be the failure of electric cars or whether it be the failure of Hollywood, the Disney stock prices, the Star Wars ratings, the Doctor Who ratings, any of this kind of stuff. We are winning and that 
frightens them. It terrifies them because now they're not going to get their dominance. They're not going to be able to hide behind the shield of their sexuality anymore. They're going to have to face legitimate criticisms and they will, they will probably go blue in the face, continuing to blame everything on everyone else and refusing to take any kind of responsibility for not just forcing an agenda in a place that it shouldn't have been to begin with, but also for just all around crappy and abysmal writing. The twist at the end, give me a break, boys and girls. It's not just the fact that it's gay, 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 Doctor Who all the time. It's just shit writing as well, boys and girls. It's absolute garbage. And this is what's so funny, too. These comments aren't unsurprising. It's about his job to push gender, transgender queer stories. I know it's part of the rising tide, lesbian writers. We've all been over this all the time before, right? We know why Disney Doctor Who is in the toilet, because this is what it's become, because now Russell T. Davies has either lost the ability to actually write things that aren't just nonstop agenda every five seconds, or he never could to begin with. And he was just standing on the shoulders of much better people around him that didn't get the credit for what they deserved. Either way, Disney Doctor Who is dead. Once again, everything Disney touches turns to the dust. And we are here to document the disastrous dumpster fire of all things Disney. And in this case, all things Doctor Who. It's sad to see this happen. And that's why I highly recommend everybody join us on Sunday nights at 7 p.m. to get a nice palate cleanser of when Doctor Who was good and stop having to worry about all this nonsense that's going on in the modern era and remember the love and the passion you had for a wonderful story about a crazy madman in a box and screw Russell T. Davies and no, not in the way he would like it and screw Disney Doctor Who. You get what you deserve. Burn, baby, burn and you've done it to yourself. It's all gay, gay, gay and guess what, Russell T. Davies? The majority of the world isn't gay and they're not interested in your gay Doctor Who.